Hey guys, welcome back to Concordia Jedi. Like I said, this is now going to be how to do an Anakin Skywalker uh, Clone Wars uh, voice. Uh, maybe I'll do Hayden Christensen at some point. I don't, I don't know, but I think that one's pretty easy to do. You just gotta speak very monotone. And then once you start yelling, I have brought peace, freedom. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so Matt Lantner, or I never figure out how to pronounce his last name. I think it's Lanter. Matt Lanter. We're going to go with that. So Matt Lanter brings a, brought, when I first heard him voice Anakin in the Clone Wars movie in 2008, he brought a very different kind of Anakin. It was, it was deeper and it had a little bit more, a little, a little bit more of like a snarky attitude, like almost like a young man would have that's as powerful as Anakin. Of course, he's overconfident. Uh, but the great thing about it is that he also kind of carries that darkness with it, too. Uh, now, the problem with doing uh, an Anakin Skywalker impression from the Clone Wars is that... Sorry, Matt Lanter has a very distinct voice as Anakin. It's one that can be imitated uh, only so much, at least in my opinion, uh, because, uh, at least from me. Like, I can only imitate it, like, to, to a certain degree, where you can tell, yeah, that's Anakin Skywalker, but it's not Matt Lanter. Uh, at least that, that's how it is right now. Uh, I plan on working on the voice a lot more and giving you guys an updated impression when I feel like I've, I've really got a solid grasp on it. Uh, so, the first thing you're going to want to do is recognize what kind of voice you have. I feel like I have a, a decent voice right now. Or, or like, is you, like, recognize what type of pitch your normal speaking voice is in. Uh, this is my normal speaking voice. It's it's not deep, but it's not high pitch. It's I'd consider it kind of the tenor baritone kind of range if we were talking about a singing voice, uh, which we're not. Um, and I feel and so for me, when I want to do Anakin and get the pitch right, I just have to bring it down a few notches. So right about I I'd I'd say right about in here is where I bring it right about here and so already you can kind of see a little bit of Anakin in there <clears throat> uh, but another thing to know about uh, Lanter as Anakin is he does have that kind of snarkiness that attitude and when he and when he makes quips his voice goes from being down here to kind of being up here and you hear a little bit of a little bit of a change in his voice uh, and just, again, with, with any of these voices, go and listen to certain lines he says. Uh, find one that you really connect to, or one that you really like. One that I like is just the one where he's talking to one. How come I'm the one always getting captured? It doesn't look good. Uh, and, and really kind of get that down, kind of get into the, the, fra the mindset of how that voice comes out naturally. And again, practice, 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 practice. Always be with any voice you do. If you want that to be a voice you continue to use and that you can continue to do, practice, practice, practice. Because I guarantee you, it's like any other. It's like any other skill you have. You know, the the longer break a break you take from practicing that skill, the rustier you will become. It may not be something you'll ever completely forget how to do, but I, I'll, I can tell you for a fact that uh, I used to be able to do, like Severus Snape from Harry Potter, Alan Rickman, I used to be able to turn that voice on and off, but then I stopped doing it for the longest time uh, because it, it, I had other voices I wanted to try. And then when I was trying it out again, it took me forever to really figure out how to get back into that kind of that deep voice that he has. So again, with any of these voices, just practice, practice, practice. And the great thing about uh, Matt Lanter's Anakin is 
that it's it's not as complex of a process as something like Palpatine, where first you have to get the old voice and that and you bring in the gravel and all that stuff. With with Lanter, it's mainly get the pitch right and get his inflections and attitude. So again, if say say your voice is a higher pitch, it may take a little bit longer for you to kind of bring it down to the bring it down to the Anakin level. Or if your voice is a, a, a lower pitch, it may take a little bit longer to kind of bring it up to that higher level without straining your voice. Uh, with any of this, remember not to hurt your voice. Your voice is a very important tool in in uh, acting and voice acting with any of this. And just in life, your voice is one of your most valuable tools. And so if you strain it or you hurt it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take its toll. So always remember to take breaks when you're doing this stuff. Always remember to stay hydrated, keep drinking water, tea, whatever it is. Drink something that's not going to affect your voice or how you pronounce words. So, I, yeah, like I said, I'd recommend water. Uh, and, again, practice. Because this Anakin voice, I'm, I'm going to tell you, took me a lot longer to get right than I would like to admit. It took... it. If I had to give a ballpark estimate, like, just to get it to where I have right now, it took... About several weeks of just kind of practicing it and just getting getting it to where I have it right now. So I'm going to give you another example of Lanter's Anakin. So I gave you the, the one line, the, how come I'm the one always getting captured? It doesn't look good. Another great line is when he's being, he's, he's just kind of being his snarky, dickish self to Obi-Wan in Season 7 of The Clone Wars. The, what are you guys doing down there? The, the, we're taking cover. Get down. Just You can't be serious. There's only there's only a thousand droids out there. Tops. And that's a great line from Anakin. Just really shows his overconfidence and just like how he knows that this is no issue. They've faced bigger stuff than that before. And, it, and an issue that I, that I personally have when I'm doing Anakin is, depending on the line, I find myself... I find those, look, see that right there? My voice tends to like kind of break midway because I'm trying to focus on the deep aspect of his voice. But then I kind of, I can't, I, I, I'm having trouble kind of shifting to the upward inflections without kind of closing off the back of my throat. And so that's why I, I again, I tell you, practice, practice this. Uh, so again, the biggest elements to get down for Matt Lanter as Anakin is just the pitch and then the attitude. So let's let's think of another good line from Anakin. Let's see. You call this a diplomat uh, bit my tongue. Um, you call this a diplomatic solution? Um This is where the fun begins. You got all these really great lines from Anakin that you can take from either the movies or the show and just kind of practice with them. Whatever line you like that helps you get into that, get into the character of Anakin, just remember to practice, get the pitch down, and the inflections. That's the biggest thing to remember with Anakin. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll have more videos coming in the future. We'll see you next time. May the Force be with you.